Hi guys, it's me, Miss Manifesta, helping you open a spiritual doorway to the abundance that you deserve. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Abraham Hicks focus wheel with your manifestations and shifting your point of attraction. If you're brand new to the channel, I upload a Law of Attraction video every Tuesday. I now go live at 6 p.m. GMT time on a Thursday, and I do subliminal Saturday, which is time for subliminals, affirmations, emotional freedom technique, things that help you to reprogram your subconscious for manifestations. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell to get regular updates from me when I upload. Let's get started. Guys, if you're not familiar with what a focus wheel is, it's a tool put forward by Abraham Hicks to help you shift your point of attraction. Particularly if you're focusing on what you want, what you desire, in a sense of it's not here yet. You're feeling the absence of it, you're feeling the lack of it, and you're not focusing on it in a positive way. The wheel is designed, as a wheel does, to help you gather momentum. So the more you do with this wheel, the more momentum you're gathering positively to help shift your point of attraction about the thing that you're asking for. So for this video, I have made up a focus wheel with the example of somebody who wants to lose weight, for example. It's not something that I've personally got in my mind as a desire for myself, but I thought it would be a really helpful way to help you see how a focus wheel works. This is my example of a focus wheel and I will put a link to a blank wheel in the description below so you guys can start creating your own focus wheels. Now, what Abraham Hicks says to do is to have your desire and intention statement about what you want to achieve, what you want to manifest in the middle of the wheel. You've then got all these segments, kind of like spokes on a wheel, and you're going to start putting various different statements around this wheel feel good statements. The less resistance, the better, because you're gonna start building that momentum and shifting your point of attraction. So I've put various statements here, but I really care about my well-being. A person that wants to lose weight wants to do it ultimately because they care about themselves. I have lost weight before, or I've exercised before. We know that to be true. We've all done exercise at some point in our life. It's possible for us, you know, there's little resistance in that. When we know we've achieved something before, it gives us self-belief in our ability to do this again. I'm ready to have a new relationship with my body. Yes, you are. If you were someone that wanted to lose weight and you have this intention, it's because you are ready to have that new relationship. This is something you desire. I get excited visualizing my healthy body. I love doing that. I love visualizing myself in clothes, in things that make me feel good and then I think about the compliments I'm gonna get, you know, I, put, I enjoy getting compliments. Those feel good things. These statements are designed to build your confidence, to build your belief, to build your faith in your ability that you can manifest this because when you have full faith and confidence in who you are as a manifester and your ability to take action where necessary in your life, then you release the resistance because you have faith in yourself and the universe to co-create this. But putting down statements that have some resistance behind them are not gonna help you to build that momentum. So you wanna be putting down things that feel good to you, don't feel like there's a but behind them, things that feel like a true statement of fact because you're like, no, I have exercised before, I've done it before, why can't I do it again? There are healthy foods that I like, so if there's healthy foods that I like, why can't I incorporate that into a meal plan? Go for statements and things that feel within reach. When you do that, you will build this momentum as you're creating this focus wheel. Now, I'm also going to show you an example of how not to do an Abraham Hicks focus wheel. This is not what Abraham Hicks is talking about. So this person has spent a lot of time creating this wheel. I do not believe they've created this from the angle of law of attraction, but I think it's really important just to kind of clear up the difference here when you look at this wheel. So this wheel is much more goal focused. It's much more of a to-do list. And there are mo elements of motivation in here, like things that you want to achieve at the end of it. So you've got exercise regularly, eat healthy food, do a workout, those kind of things. Those are actions that might take you towards that manifestation. But also there's statements in here 
that whilst they might feel like an incentive, they're actually kind of holding you in a place of resistance, in my opinion. So for example, my family will be proud of me. Oh, so your family not proud of you as you are already? Like, do your family not love you and accept you for who you are now? Like, I see that as there's a big but at the end of that statement. There's kind of like, you're not good enough now. And also, I will feel slim and confident. If you don't feel confident in yourself now, and you're acknowledging that you don't feel confident in yourself now, that is certainly not gonna help you to manifest opportunities that are gonna help you to feel confident because you're vibrating on a lack of confidence. So this is why you have to be very careful about how you're using your focus wheel. I don't see anything wrong with once you've built the momentum and you are feeling super pumped up. I don't see anything wrong with creating a wheel that helped you break it down into actions um, that are going to support your goal if there are things that you humanly need to put in that the universe can't do for you but I'd ask you to be really mindful about the statements you're putting down about how you will feel because if they're actually going to hold you in a place of resistance then that is not going to be serving you with this focus wheel you don't want your focus wheel to make you still feel like you don't feel that like you don't feel good about what it is that you're asking for you want your focus wheel to make you feel positive in control, in momentum, giving you belief and confidence that you have got the ability to manifest what it is that you are asking for. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this explanation on focus wheels and I will see you soon for another video. Take care. Bye.